Tree Lady hanging out with this wonderful gentleman, Mr. Elam King. And we were talking about relationships before we went to break. And the fact that I do have, just as an example, I have a friend that um, has is in a relationship, she's in a marriage, but the husband doesn't want to go to counseling. Mm -hmm. What do you do in a situation like that? Uh, so I know, I say probably about 85% of the time I'm normally contacted, more well, recently it's becoming more men, but I'm normally contacted by the woman first. Yeah. Um, whether it's dating or whether it's married or whatever case it be. And then when I hear that statement, I give them this analogy. I said, you have to think about it like this. It's like, it's like both of you have a, a, a cold, mm -hmm. right? And snotty nose and coughing and yeah. sneezing, right? right? Okay, so then imagine uh, you go to the doctor and mm -hmm. he doesn't, right? And then, you know, the next day you still sneeze and cough and he looking at you like, yeah, okay. So then about maybe a week later, all of a sudden, you're not sneezing anymore. Then maybe a month, a month later, you're not coughing anymore. Meanwhile, he's still coughing, sneezing, yeah. blowing his nose, whatever. He's watching you. Okay, so you're saying she should go ahead and get the counseling. And so what happens is that she starts, and so it's, it, again, you begin to change, and he's yeah. going to notice you. He's only yeah. with you every day, all day. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he's like, who are you talking mm. to? 100% of the time yeah. that the woman starts, yeah. the guy comes. It might be 90 days later. That is It might so be two true. weeks later. It might be six months. Uh, 100% of wow. the time the guy comes because he because she up here reading. Yeah. And God forbid you on the phone because all Come my stuff now. is virtual. Yeah. So God forbid you on the phone with me. You start laughing. You know she on the phone with a man and you like... What he talking to her about? I yeah. want, you know, and it's yeah. like the ego thing comes yeah. in, and then he then he yeah. turn around and be like, "Oh, Elam, cool." Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, I know." But <laughs> <laughs> and they all say it. They're just like, "Yo, you all right with me?" And I'm like, yeah. "I don't know." Okay. You know, okay. I ain't want your lady. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm trying. We trying to do something here. You know? Well, they say therapists, and you know that a lot of times there's that crossover. Never. But you're not that kind of Never. therapist. I love 100% it. hundred percent of the time, ladies, the man comes. A hundred. I love because it. you're. You're, you're forging forward. But I think it's like that in the relationship, period. And, and I'll be a little transparent here. A couple months ago, I've been married 17 years. Mm -hmm. And a few, actually, it's more than a couple months ago that this happened. I just got into this phase because we've been, because of COVID, you know, we are spending more time trying to do more stuff with the girls. And, and you know, we're, they're not in certain after school activities. Okay. And so we're, because, and we are tested as far as COVID is concerned and we do wear masks, but I try to get out and do stuff. And I noticed I'd been planning all these things and I'm like, it just hit me. I was like, he doesn't plan any of this stuff. <laughs> like he don't plan none of this stuff. So I started getting really, really angry, mm. you know? And so I plan another thing and he'll, he'll show up and, you know, enjoy it and everything, but he wasn't planning it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what happened that weekend, but I just lost it. I just got so angry, so mad. I was crying about it. I was like, I'm the one that's always planning this stuff. Don't you, you know, don't you want to do stuff with our family? Da -da 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 -da. And he's like, I'm going to come wherever you, if you want us to do something, I'm going to be there. And I'm like, that's not the point. I want you to plan it. So I talked to a friend of mine who's been married for 40 years, mm -hmm. no, 30 years, and they're an older, older couple. And she's like, have you ever told him? Just sat down and said, this is what you want. And I was like, well, no, I, I mean, he sees me doing it. And she's like, he has no clue that this is what you want. And, at all. And that's where the, the Blue's Clues, I say, a lot of times yeah. comes into a relationship. Blue's yeah. Clues works on Nickelodeon. It don't work it don't, inside no. a relationship. You, yeah. you can't just think that just because you were out there shaking and moving and doing it, yeah. he sees that. He's kind of like, okay, I probably didn't want to do that anyway. Yeah, he's, <laughs> Let's start there. Yo, I can't okay. <laughs> didn't want to do it anyway, so you that's got it, I, so cool. And I will I, never plan, exactly. by the way. And but But what happens is that... What happens inside of conversation is that you've said it to him before, but yeah. you say it in heat. Yeah. When you say it in yeah. heat, we yeah. don't listen. Ugh. And that's for you, for me, and me for mm. you when you say it in heat. But when you sit me down, yeah. minus game, minus, yeah. you know, um, whether they on their PlayStation, whatever, when you catch a moment yeah. and say, hey, you know, yeah. I just want to talk to you about this. Now, yeah. even the first time yeah. you might not, you might say yeah. it, he might not get it, yeah. but we love you. Yeah. We don't want you to be hurt and upset, whatever the case yeah. may be. So yeah. we'll ultimately yeah. do it. And yeah. a woman has the power within her voice, the, the strength. If I yeah. wanted to say one thing yeah. to women, you have that femininity yeah. to whereas, okay. Yeah. You, you know, we're going to do I, it. I'll tell you what you I know? did. Before the blow up, it went for about a week. He could tell something was off. Mm -hmm. And 
I'm married 17 years, happily married for 17 years, and I still fell into this trap of my own mind. He would come through the kitchen, I'd be cooking or something or doing something, he could tell I'm upset. I'm like, he's like, what's going on? Are you okay? Nothing. I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. Well, did I do something? No. Mm-mm. Yeah. And World he went War for like went, exactly <laughs> right. But what frustrated me was that he just got to a point. He was like, "Okay, honey, I don't know what's wrong, but and he was just fine." I'm like, "How can he just be fine all of a sudden?" And then that's what caused me to blow up because it was kind of like, "Oh, well, you don't care." You don't care. I was gonna yeah, say, "Yeah, we don't care." It's kind of like we do care, but if you ain't gonna you say nothing, like, I ain't got time to go figure that blues clues out. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. you're ready, I know she's gonna say, say something when she's yeah. ready. And yeah. how much time could we in our yeah. relationships cut down yeah. by just simply, I have a friend that says something that they, they took the word plan and family yeah. and put it together and they call it planly time. Mm. Instead of saying, can we talk? Because yeah. when you hear that, you just like, oh God, what yeah. is it now? Yeah. Versus it's like, okay, can we have some planly time later mm. on? Yeah. And it kind of sets the stage of, yeah. you know, um, we're going to sit down and plan yeah. for our family yeah and this is obviously important so it resonates inside of their inside of their mind so yeah. you got to sit down and do that and if you don't yeah. want to do that then you're missing a key piece of yeah. the responsibility of of, yes. of of being in a marriage absolutely so. well what's some advice for single people that are looking <clears throat> to get married oh, oh, especially oh. with everything that's going on right now uh, sit down <laughs> <laughs> and figure you out yeah because that's what life is all about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I would say that the single space, a lot of times, uh, you know, married people have a tendency sometimes to talk down to single people. Like, yeah. you don't understand what this is really about, yeah. whatever. And I say, you need to be so excited. This is yeah. the best time in your life because you have an opportunity of forming yeah. exactly what you're, what you're looking for. And that yeah. starts with you. And yeah. I would say that, um, you know, you loving yourself because you, you're going to have to teach somebody how to love you. Yes. So why not maximize loving yourself? Um, you should be seeking out mentors yeah. inside of your finances, inside yeah. of your health, inside of yeah. your business, mm-hmm. um, inside of your relationship. Mm-hmm. So that you understand because you're, you're building a structure that you're going to be able to do yes. down the road instead of starting the whole thing over. Yeah. So if you're taking care of now, when the person, when you're, when you're, when your mate comes along, they're able to see how you're operating. Mm. And I always say, you know, uh, there's four phases for ladies, particularly that I always say that you want to think about um, phase one is understanding and knowing who you are and what okay. you want. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, phase two, and this is just really quickly. And this is, you know, Unshameless. I was going to say, inside no, of chapter I was three, gonna ask you about that. Yeah, okay. Inside of chapter three of understanding a man, uh, that chapter. And so, of course, inside of the book, I interviewed 24 men about various topics of the yeah. heart. And then I wrote about it. And so um, these are things that the men wanted women to know regarding, uh, excuse me, what they would want their daughters yeah. to know in order to have a longevity within their relationship. Yeah. And so chapter three is, do you see me? Mm. And so in that chapter, I only interviewed single men. Yeah. Because I wanted them, the single men to say, this is what we're really looking for, yeah. regardless of what you think out yeah. here. And so inside of that, um, you know, the men that are in there, the shakers and movers and doing yeah. the things from doctors to producers or whatever. And so... Uh, that's where I came up with these four phases. So mm-hmm. phase one is, uh, you know, knowing yourself, first yeah. of all. All right. Mm-hmm. And then phase two, pay attention to his world. Yeah. Right. And figure out whether you can insert yourself into it gracefully. Okay. Because here's the thing. You know your world. Remember, figure yourself out first. Come on now. Now you're looking at his world and you figure out how you can put yes. yourself in there. Yeah. Right. Gracefully. Yeah. Not just show up at the family cookout. <laughs> Hello. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and then when you, once you in, intertwine yourself in there, whatever you see, believe it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Don't you try to change it. Nothing but a word. Believe what you see. Believe what you. I cannot tell you how many women that I meet, especially you know, ask me for advice, and they'll say something like, "Yeah, but you know, he did such and such and that," and I kind of didn't like that. But mm-hmm. you know what? Everybody has. To, and it's like you're making excuses mm-hmm. for what you saw. Yeah, no, that's you who it is. You saw something that told you this is not the right situation. But you know, Elam, I could keep you here all day, but I do want you mm-hmm. to tell us about your. Um, your training. You've got a, a, mm. um, uh, an event coming up. Right. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah. So, uh, you know, of course, the first book, I had an opportunity of, of really speaking more towards the ladies. And so, you know, in the distance, you're like, well, we ain't going to talk to the men, right? Yeah. Um, but it actually was divinely put together yeah. of, um, you know, because there's some things that us as men, we need to focus on mm-hmm. and work on as well. And, Ooh, you know, whether it's what, yeah. And it's so it's uh, and and that's important from a leadership perspective, you yeah. know. And so understanding that we're gonna go over here and huddle uh, mm-hmm. with this men's conference is gonna be June nineteenth. 
Okay. Um, Juneteenth is, is or, uh, you know, more people are understanding that's affectionately known as a liberation time for black that's people right. as a whole. Well, there's a liberation within men that we need to do as okay. well. And okay. so the top three t topics for men, money, sex, and respect. Yeah. All right. So that's yeah. why it's called the Money, Sex, and Respect Conference. So Love we're going to talk a little bit about money. We're going to talk a little about sex and relationship. We're going to speak about respect yeah. and, and what how you really earn that. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a men's conference. Ladies can come because I yeah. know sometimes you might have yeah. sons or whatever case it be yeah. that might need that mentorship. I definitely want to encourage you yeah. to do that. But ladies can only come if you bring a, a man. A man. You. There you go. All right. Um, and so a lot of times people are scared to operate inside yeah. of this space because men, you know, we're again back to that built for tough piece. Okay. We don't want to go get some counseling or some conferencing, whatever case it be. I'm not even going to look at it like okay. that. It's kind of like we're going to forge forward um, in order to improve our community one yeah. piece at a time. I and love so. It. I'm super excited. The men that come there, there are going to be some amazing ladies there. Kind of, I'm just going to say from a serving perspective. So you'll have <laughs> oh your, God. you know, uh, and my business manager is a woman. So she okay. put that together. She, that she was together. like, oh, they're going to love this. So, I love it. Um, yes. Well, how do people get in contact with you? Uh, you can go to my website, understandingaman.com. You'll okay. also see the, the conference information up there as well. Tickets are, are, are now available on Eventbrite. If you have a business and want to be a vendor, yeah. you have um, some vending opportunities And a little well. birdie told me you've got another book coming out too. <laughs> yeah, that's actually um, uh, going to coincide with the conference. So this is Understanding a Man, um, Memoirs of a Father to His Son. And so wow. it's going to be the men speaking to their sons, or if they have a son, or just yeah. a, a young man as well, just kind of what giving. What about him, men that have daughters? Uh, that no, one. Uh, uh, well, we started with that. That's why I we know. had that one verse. So now, first the men were talking to the to, know, the, to the women, and now they're talking to the men. Um, yeah. To the, so it's not just for young men. Yeah. Um, it's just for men, period, but right. particularly those that might, you know, need a, need some extra guidance okay. in certain areas. Okay, awesome. Well, we've had we, I, it's always a joy to have you Absolutely. on the show. It really you. is, and <laughs> you truly are not just a gift to relationships, but you. I think you're a gift to people that are single too, because it's the single people that wind up getting into relationships. So if you can get this stuff right, mm -hmm. I think you can have happy relationships, and you do that by following this gentleman right <laughs> now. Um, and how do you follow? How do people follow you on social media if you would like for them to do that? Yes, you can follow me at Elon B King on Instagram yes. and Understanding a Man fan page on Facebook. Uh, we're also on YouTube as well for Understanding a Man, and you can also listen to my podcast, which is on yes. Anchor and all the little major pr yes. platforms or whatever. Understanding a Man podcast. I want to make sure I say everything. You can go to understandingaman.com. Yes, understanding it's all up there. Okay, then that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> once again, guys. Once again, thank you so much for joining thank you for us. Thank me. you for sharing it. us. I well, I appreciate you. I, I mean, wanted to say I'm Marty McFly earlier when you I know, came. right? I, just, I couldn't say it. I was like, okay, that doesn't go for that moment. But I just felt that. I know, right? Well, thanks again. Absolutely. Thank you guys for checking out our show. We'll be back next week, and thank you for listening to Donnie Jones Live with Donnie the Tree Lady, and today with Mr. Elam King and Marty thank McFly. You. Will be back soon. Stand in Jones Line, stand in Jones Line.